standing in front of a tree, how would you measure it or how would you get an idea of the size of it? So to measure a tree, there's various different ways of doing it. Probably the easiest way is just to go into the woods and get a stick, a straight, straightish branch that's fallen on the ground. And um, uh, if it's the same length as your arm, you can use that. Or if you happen to have one, you can use a, a metre stick like this. Basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that the stick is the same length as your arm from your shoulder to your fingertips. So you just mark it there. So that's about 69 centimetres, so I'm going to keep my thumb there. Mm -hmm. And then I just um, position it like so. So you're looking at the tree from sort of through the ruler and you want your thumb to line up with the base of the tree and you want the top of the ruler to line up with the top of the tree and whenever you're in that position so you'll have to move about a bit in order to get um, that all lined up but once you have you can then measure the distance from where you're standing to the tree and you can do that by taking meter uh, steps or you can use a, a, a ruler as well. We've measured the height of the tree and another really fun thing to do is to measure the circumference or the girth of the tree um, and actually from that we can get a bit of an idea very roughly how old the tree might be or at the very least if it is a notable tree, a veteran tree or an ancient tree okay. and we're going to do it just at about chest height so come around so we measured that and we think that's about three meters and we've got our girth chart and this um, gives you an idea for the different species it all varies with the species mm -hmm. um, so a uh, hawthorn doesn't ha live anywhere near as long as an oak tree mm -hmm. so it would become an ancient tree a lot sooner than what an oak tree would become an ancient tree for example um, so this is a sycamore tree mm -hmm. and we measured it to be about three meters in girth or just over three meters and as you can see it is lying in the notable as long as it can stay here and is protected and not chopped down or anything like that there it will eventually grow on to become a veteran tree and an ancient tree which will be wonderful for the wildlife in this park you have a very exciting initiative online where we can go out and get involved in nature yep uh, particularly for skills so um, we've got the green tree skills award and if you go on the woodland trust website um, woodlandtrust.org.uk um, it's all on there and we essentially give out free tree packs to schools and, and support them to plant the trees in their school grounds and we're wanting to get you know, young people essentially to grow their own forests for the future as we know it's so important for the future of the planet that we plant more trees and as well as that on the website we have a whole host of activities, worksheets session plans that can be used by teachers and by families as well um, to, to support kids and adults in, in learning more about the trees and woods on their doorstep. Mm -hmm.